Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered the getting started guide with Banana Pi M4 Berry. And we have flashed the minimal operating system onto the SD card, okay, for Banana Pi M4 Berry. And we have covered the entire setup that how you can do the USB debugging using Putty software. And then after how you can connect with the Wi-Fi and then how you can get SSH access of your Banana Pi M4 Berry board, okay, over the Wi-Fi interface. And we have also covered the same thing for uh, the Debian operating system. Okay, so this Jammy operating system is for the Ubuntu and this Bookworm is for the Debian. If you are Ubuntu lover, then you can go for this video. If you are Debian lover, then you can go for this video. And in both of that videos, we have used the minimal operating system without any desktop environment. Okay. Now in this video, we are going to cover the getting started guide for the Banana Pi M4 Berry, but with the desktop environment. Okay. So we are going to flash Banana Pi Ambient Jemmy XFC desktop operating system onto the SD card and we'll cover the entire setup. Now, what is the prerequisite for this video? So here you can see I have this Banana Pi M4 Berry single board computer. I have this uh, micro SD card reader. Okay. And I have this HDMI video capture card. So here is your HDMI input and here is your USB output. So if you have this card, then you don't require any screen. Okay. And here is my HDMI to HDMI cable, mail to mail cable. And here I have the sd card okay so i am going to use this sd card okay and i'm going to flash the desktop operating system inside this sd card and then we will put that sd card into our m4 berry and then we will cover the desktop setup for the banana pi m4 berry so first of all we have to flash the desktop operating system inside it so i'm going to plug this uh SD card to my system to flash the operating system. Now this SD card is having bookworm minimal operating system. So we have to uh, format the SD card first. So I'm going to use the SD card formatter tool and we will format our SD card. Okay, our SD card format is done. Now we can flash the uh, desktop operating system ubuntu desktop operating system onto the sd card so for that i'm going to use the balena eacher software and you can download the balena eacher software from this link okay so you can open this link in the new tab and from here you can download the balena eacher software and if you want to download the ubuntu desktop operating system or minimal operating system which is jammy then you can download from this link so you can open this link in the new tab and here you can see banana pi ambient m4 berry ubuntu and this is the desktop operating system file okay and uh, here is the minimal operating system file so you can download this two image for your use i have already downloaded okay and i have kept in my system so i'm not going to download it again and uh, we need the desktop image for this video so it's already in my system and uh, yeah here we have the balena eacher open now we can click flash from the file and we'll select the file here so we want to flash the desktop image okay so i'm going to uh, extract this file okay for ubuntu jemmy and here it is extracted folder we will select this image and uh, here you can see it's already selected my sd card so i'm just going to hit the flash button okay so it will flash the entire operating system which we have selected for the desktop environment onto my sd card and once the flashing is done we can put our sd card into the back side of the banana pi m4 berry then we'll connect the hdmi cable with this uh, video capture card and then we will plug this card into our system okay and then we will see the rest of the thing so let's wait until our flashing is done
Okay, so we have successfully flashed the Ubuntu desktop operating system onto the SD card for the Banana Pi M4 Berry. Okay, now I can close it and uh, I can remove my SD card. Okay, eject. That's it. I can plug out my SD card and uh, we'll connect the SD card on the back side of the Banana Pi M4 Berry. Okay, so here is the SD card. Okay, we have plugged the SD card on the back side of the Banana Pi M4 Berry with the Ubuntu desktop operating system. Now, what you have to do is you have to connect this cable here. Okay, and on the second end of the cable, you have to plug that into the video capture card. Okay, and you have to plug this USB output to your system okay but before that you have to connect mouse and keyboard to your banana pi m4 berry so here is my keyboard okay and here is my wireless mouse okay so we have attached the wireless mouse to the banana pi m4 berry and wired keyboard to the banana pi m4 berry this is not the minimal operating system okay so you must have to be uh, having screen to set up this banana pi m4 berry board so instead of screen you can uh, take this video capture card and you can take this hmi cable to set up it so i have purchased it okay and now we can see how we can do that so i am going to plug this into my system okay i have plugged it now what we have to do is we have to power on this banana pi m4 berry okay so here is our usb-c cable to power up the banana pi m4 berry okay banana pi m4 berry is powered on now what we can do is we can use the camo studio pro software and instead of uh, uh, any other device we can select hmi video capture card and it will provide you the output okay of your banana pi m4 berry screen so here you can see our os is getting booted so in this case i don't need screen okay to show the output i can use the hdmi video capture card and hdmi cable with my laptop and here you can see ambient os is loading okay here you can see bpi m4 berry login root automatically login so login is successfully done now let's wait for uh, system booting okay so waiting for system to finish booting and here you can see welcome to banana pi ambient here is the documentation link and here is the community support link we are not connected with any network so that's why we don't have any ip address here and here you can see create the root password so i have already attached the keyboard with my banana pi m4 berry so i'm going to provide the password which is t double o r and then i will hit enter okay again we have to repeat the password so t double o r and then hit enter okay now which shell you want to use so i'm going with the bash so i will select one and then i'll press enter now creating a new user account so yes i want to create a new user account so that's why i will provide the name which is parrot okay parrot and uh, we'll hit enter and then it will ask for the password for the parrot user okay so you have to provide the password for the parrot user so here again i'm going to provide the tour password again T double O R and uh, weak password is too short, no problem. Uh, please provide your real name, parrot, that's fine. We'll hit enter. Okay, connect via wireless. No, we don't want to connect it now. And we'll wait until it will ask for the location. So we don't want to provide the location as of now, so that's why we will select 333. As you can see, skip generating local. So I'll provide 333 as an input and I'll press enter. And here you can see now starting desktop environments. Okay, so after 
setting up these things your desktop environment will load so if you have connected your screen then you have to set up these things in the command line and then after your desktop environment will successfully load and here you will see the desktop environment in a moment okay here you can see right now i am using the mouse inside the banana pie for berry okay here you can see uh, the mouse moving is my system mouse or you can say my laptop mouse and here is the mouse which is connected to my banana pie for berry now the resolution is very low i know but uh, it's only supported resolution in this format so that's why now here is the application you will have okay and uh, if you want to connect with the wi-fi then you can click here network and here you can see capgemini 4g capgemini 5g so it is supporting the 5g network so that is very 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 good and i can connect with my 5g network i'll click here and i'll provide the password so okay i have provided the password now i'll press connect and uh, you can see it is trying to connect and connection establish okay now i can open the terminal here okay and here is our terminal okay now i can check for the ls there is nothing on my desktop okay i have to turn off the caps lock ls nothing on my desktop ls cpu so here is the cpu detail okay arch 64 operating mode 32 bit 64 bit okay arm cortex a53 now let's check the free ram so free hyphen h and total 1.9 gb is uh, available in my system okay. so our uh, banana pie m4 berry is having capacity of 2 gb of ram okay and here you can see the available is 1.3 gb okay and let's check the system size so df hyphen h okay here you can see 10 percent is in the use and rest of is available for our use okay so that's it so this is how you can set up your banana pie m4 berry desktop environment okay so let me show you that camera again so here is our banana pie m4 berry you can use sd card to flash the desktop environment image we have flash the sd card with the ubuntu xfc desktop environment then after you have to plug this card you have to attach your keyboard and mouse here you have to use this hdmi cable and then after you have to put the second end of the hdmi cable to the video capture card and you have to plug your video capture card into your laptop desktop anywhere okay and then after you have to turn on your banana pie m4 berry and once you turn on you will be having output in the camo studio pro you can download for free okay from microsoft store and here you can select your device hdmi video capture card and here you can monitor your banana pie m4 berry desktop okay and here you can see i am able to access the desktop i can close the terminal i can do whatever i want to do okay so it's my banana pie m4 berry screen so i hope everything is clear that how you can set up the banana pie m4 berry with the desktop environment okay and we have used uh, this image okay so let me show you banana pie operating system m4 berry and yeah we have used this operating system banana pie ambient m4 berry ubuntu jemmy and xfc desktop environment okay you can also do the same for the debian operating system but that thing i'm not going to cover because both the thing are same okay you just have to flash your sd card with the image inside it and then you have to follow the same step you have to plug everything just we have plugged in this video okay so i hope you can do that so if you have any question or if you have any doubt while setting up the banana pie m4 berry with the any desktop environment then you can you know ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also on linkedin also you can send me a mail now in the future videos instead of debian and ubuntu operating system we'll see how you can flash the android into our banana pie m4 berry okay so we have already covered the getting started guide for the minimal operating system for ubuntu and debian and desktop operating system for ubuntu now i want to go with the android in the banana pie m4 berry so stay tuned for the future videos till then take care 
गुड बाय एंड थैंक यू